Now, um, at, at a structural level, I want to give you uh, an understanding of sort of three layers of cloud. This is, I don't know what the word for a, a multi-layered cloud is, cumulonimbus or something, I think. But um, there are really three layers that, <clears throat> that I want to explain quickly. Uh, there's, first of all, infrastructure as a service, and that in the industry is called uh, IaaS, infrastructure as a service. And really, this is the basic data storage, the hosting, services that relate to, you know, to having your files not necessarily on your physical premises or on your on servers that are in your business, but stored in a cloud, stored off-site, um, and, and being able to access them and hosting different kinds of software, different applications you may, you may use to, uh, to, to, run, to run your business. That is the base layer that's called infrastructure as a service. The next layer built on top of that is what's called platform as a service. And this contains elements of, of, of you know, mobility devices, you know, iPhones and other smartphones, the devices you access wirelessly and, and remotely. Um, the platform as a service also involves being able to develop business applications that are designed to be used exclusively in the cloud uh, as, opposed to, uh, as opposed to on hardware that's located in your, on your business, physically on your premises. Platform as a service also relates to the various elements of tying all of these different pieces of, 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 uh, of cloud computing elements together, uh, integrating them, uh, billing for them, providing the adequate levels of security that obviously is needed in order for them to be useful at all. That's platform as a service. And then built on top of platform as a service, which in its turn is built on top of infrastructure as a service, is what's called software as a service. Oh, and I just noticed that should be S rather than SAS rather than PASS. But, um, and these are really business applications, um, the ERP or accounting software, CRM or customer relationship management software, a business intelligence software, other business applications that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, supply chain management software, for example, uh, that you use to run your business. 